Okay, so what's up everybody, Super Sound 713 here. So, last time we completed... Oh yeah, I forgot, I'm not supposed to do the intros like that. But anyways, welcome back to part 11. Um, phew. So we're going to start things out by going to this Hungry Loom over here. He wants a thousand of these, we have two thousand. We went the extra mile on these star bits for sure, but you know what, it helps to stock. These things are greedy early on in this game though, like a thousand already, my gosh. Looks like you found a Hungry Luma. Hope you got a stack of Star Bits, because those guys can eat. Although they give you a ton of Star Bits in this game. This game, they give you so much stuff compared to the first one. Like in the first level alone, you'll end up with like 13 lives by the end of it. Hey you, yeah you, got any tasty Star Bits I could snack on? So hungry, feed me Star Bits. Feed me, and I'll transform. Okay. Grow fatter. Nice. That's the stuff. Oh, so full. I think I'm about to transform. Typhlosion explosion. And oh my gosh, I love the background for World 3. World 3 just is amazing. World 3, I'm not sure if it's my favorite dome or not. Or World. I know World 4 is very memorable for me. And World 5 and 6 are really good too. I don't know. This game. It's really good. World 2 is actually pretty good too, and the first one doesn't have bad either, so you know what, it's it's hard to choose favorites of this. I know that World S is not my favorite though. That thing's just dreadful. Like, the levels are cool, but ultimately they just end up feeling like a, I don't know, I would, I don't want to say 2D game, but they don't feel very, they're not fun to play multiple times in my experience. Oh, this level right here though is awesome. Step to the beep. You can go for it. Alright. Uh, it's pretty fun to do. There's also a double time prankster comet, which is a lot more fun as well. Well, it's a little bit more challenging, so it's more fun with the beats. There's like a Yoshi egg on that level because they really want to pamper you. I'm taking out all the enemies. I don't know why, but whatever, I guess. You're over there now. Oh. Yeah, I kind of messed up there, but oh well. Alright, let's speed run now. Let's take the speed run strat. All right. So far, so good. You know, going slower actually is a little bit more challenging sometimes. So the other one you can uh, be dependent on jumping back and forth quickly. But this one you kind of have to, if you're speed running, it's more difficult. Nice. Does this still even have checkpoints? I don't even think it does. So if we died, we would just restart the whole thing. Unless I hit some checkpoint that I forgot about, but I don't think I did, because this level's pretty short anyways. There we go. This is kind of like a challenging level. It's like a challenge level in like sunshine or whatever. Yeah, and then they just completely freeze in place. You don't want to lose. It's always a shaming to die after you've already done the level and like unlocked whatever. But I've had a tendency of doing that a lot. <laughs> Again, I'll reference that 3D land playthrough on the finale. Fooling around at the end, had to redo the whole final boss because they weren't like Galaxy. Galaxy, if you beat the boss and then like fall off while goofing around, you don't die, you bubble back like in Galaxy 1 with the observatory. But the ideal land is just horrible like that. Mario, I have a letter for you. Ooh, racing time. Hey look, it's Mario Kart. This is literally Mario Kart. <laughs> race, race, racing a wild glide galaxy. Don't check it out, don't check it out. Come on, wait, don't wait. Oh, it said don't wait, don't wait. No, I said wait, don't wait. <laughs> Come see me next time this mail delivery. So we're getting our challenge. 
Because we have a social life in this game. We have the chimp person, and then we've got these people. That does make this game feel a little bit more alive. And I'll admit, I have some pretty good memories with this game. My memories with Galaxy 1, that's the main thing uh, it doesn't have going for it, I guess, is that I have pretty bad memories of that game. Like, I, I struggled with that game, and I also wasn't in a very good era of life during that game. This game, it was around like my birthday though, and I really enjoyed being able to play it. Jungle Wizard Race. Oh my gosh, I'm ready. You know what though, like Screw Fussy and all those other recent people, Fluzzard is my favorite like animal partner in these games. Like they have that Plessy person in 3D World that was like pretty overrated in my opinion because everybody was always talking about it. Just try me, just try me. I'm ready anytime. I'm the best there is. Just try me. I never lose a race. Okay, well let's race them. Showdown, showdown, and don't let, don't think I'm a pushover. Let's go. Everybody has their own specific like way of talking in these games, and it's pretty awesome. I think my favorites might be Star Bunnies just because they're boyongs. All right, let's go for it. Um, I'm in second somehow. Oh yeah, there's the black one. Wait, are they trying to be racist? No, I'm not trying to be, but I just... I know they have that superstition or whatever that, like, people are faster than... Dude, this guy is... I mean, it's just these lines I'm taking. I'm taking terrible lines, but still. This is a very dangerous race. You gotta really know what you're doing. I do like bouncing, but if you hit it too hard, you'll just go straight under. The tip here is to be nose diving as much as possible without nose diving too much. And I think I've successfully pulled off the right amount. Unless I get overtaken at the end like in Mario Kart. Nah, we got this because we can just nose dive to the finish. Oh yeah, that was easy. Wait, was this time 113? Because if so, then we really passed him at the end. I lost, lost, I'm no leader, you be new, our new leader, new leader, new leader, gets a star. Sorry my third strike, I keep having to take sips of this drink. Because I'm not used to doing that recording because it's been a while. Like, at least, at least a week or two since I've actually authentically done this. I was doing some Mario Kart 8 recordings the other day though. I got through like the banana cup and then I had to stop though. So now I gotta do those two random cups which is gonna take like 30 minutes on some night. Some night when I don't feel like recording as much I'll just get that set up. Alright. There we go. So we did that. That was actually a pretty unexpected challenge. But it was good. It's all good. So there we go. 46 stars. I like counting my stars. I see you brought us back a really loud bear this time. Har har. You hear the tranquil song of the stars? No? Well, it's tough to hear it over that yappin' jibber jay. Huh. Wait a minute. There's that series with the mocking jays, and then there's the jabber jays. It's literally like almost exactly the same. How about going over there and trying to quiet it down for a bit? No. I refuse. You know what? Let's do it. First, for. I gotta figure out a country to say, and whatever, it wasn't on my way to the knockout board, so we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Alright, well let's get out of here, let's let's do that somewhat faster strategy. Alright, back over here, we're going to the rolling masterpiece galaxy. I am ready. This is a pretty quick start, it's uh, you couldn't already tell by the <laughs> icon and the name and everything, it's a uh, star ball level. And these things are scarce in this game. I think there's only like one or two. Like I know this is one, but I'm trying to think of what the other one was because I think there was another one. I don't know. I, I'll have to come back to it because I haven't played this in a while. Oh yeah, and you'll notice that this planet was exactly the same as the Rolling Hills one and Galaxy 1, the starting thing. Like it's exactly the same sheep. I think it's a little positioned a little bit differently, but it's exactly the same. Hey, it's me, Billboard. If you want to ride in the Star Ball, just enough. Don't make me take the tutorial, please. Oh my gosh. No. Nah. Oh, straight up. Okay, I guess I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, no, I, 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 I learn whenever I start playing. Okay, good. He just... Okay, thank you, Billboard. 
That's the one thing though. That would be really cool if there was like the B button you could use as this weird side scissor. Oh yeah, and then you press the B button and you lock into place and then you use the center. You know what? That sounds so authentic. Authentic? Authentic? That I actually want to give it a try. No, it doesn't work. But I'm pointing at this thing anyways. So that would be cool because then you could like, that would be like super like, that would be like a really cool tactic. It, it, it would make it feel like a first person shooter somehow. <laughs> If you can even believe what I'm saying, you like press the B to lock down and grind on the thing, and then you use it to collect the star bits, and then you let go of it to keep going. Because you can't exactly get these star bits without like really messing up what you're trying to do. Because you have to tilt the remote all the way forward while doing it, and all the way forward would mean going all the way forward at the fastest speed possible. Like right now, if I wanted to click those, that would be like a death wish. Unless you're just wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh shoot! I always do that on this level. No, but I missed the... Freak, did I really do that? I swear, I missed the... Maybe I didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try not to... Oh, well... Please tell me I didn't get that checkpoint. I did, though, didn't I? I wanna try something real quick. Return the map, because I think I might have missed the uh, co comet, coin comet thing. Whatever. Did I get that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright, I'm not using the sensor right now. <laughs> I'll fix that sometime. Probably by the next recording session. Alright. Silver Chomp Grudge Match. Grudge Match. Oh yeah, we're going up against that Silver Chomp. I remember that. This level's actually pretty darn cool. I mean, it's a rolling star level, so it's automatically pretty cool. I just like rushed through that part though, and I'm pretty sure there was a thing around there. Like, I want to say it's either there or on the puzzle plankish part. Is it? You know what, it, it might not be, but even then I'm still glad that I decided to restart. Because it never helps to be too sure. Yeah, I, I do believe it's on the part with the rolling whatever part. Alright, well... Whatever, it's not really too big a deal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get disappointed over it. See, I, there I could actually collect some. Oh, here we go. We can get those like that. All right, now we want that checkpoint for sure. Uh, yeah, my sensor kind of malfunctioned because I was rearing back on the remote pretty far. I wasn't rearing back so much that it would make it mess up, but I was, I was rearing back this standard way, and it took a little while to register, I guess. Whatever, I guess the Wii U, I don't know. I'm not sure if it works better or worse with the Wii U. As far as playing Wii games go. Alright, so you can just back those guys against the wall and mug them. And then you can also get those because you're tilting forward and hitting the wall. It's pro strats. You know what, it would be cool to see some sort of really exotic level in Mario Kart or whatever. If anything, it would probably have to be a custom track because Nintendo doesn't seem to want to do it. But anything based off of like one of these kind of levels, like I could imagine something like this. And with Nintendo's creativity, if they themselves actually decided to do it, they could easily do something really cool with this. If those things like could cut open the ball, that would be pretty cool and it would make sense. But then it would totally run the gameplay at level because then you couldn't get it back and you kind of need it. Although I, I'd love to find an exploit to where you don't use the ball for the level, because I'm pretty sure you can kind of complete this without it. Like, with your acrobatics, especially if you had Yoshi, of course. Yoshi you can beat, like, any level with, pretty much. Any level that just requires traveling, because the infinite flutter jump glitch. I mean, I can't do it, so I could, personally probably couldn't do it if there was some sort of ultra thing like that, but... Uh, others can. I just haven't gotten... I just can't do that Yoshi thing. Oh, I love the way that, like, I'm not usually a big fan of people just, like, outwardly showing all the colors and calling it an art-based thing. But this is actually pretty darn art-based. Like, look at that. I, I, that's, I love this part. Uh, I guess you can do it like that. <laughs> Weird jumping scheme. Okay. Alright, that was awesome. Now... It's pretty darn decent. We are almost done with this world. 
then we'll be moving on to... Man, I'm looking forward to the next world. I'm looking forward to the rest of this game. Actually, this is going to be a fantastic playthrough. Man, the, the, both of the galaxies are just going to be like the best playthroughs, man. Ooh, Fiery Flotilla. Not Falada, Flotilla. <laughs> Do we have another one? Oh my god, it's like three consecutive letters every three seconds, man. A letter addressed to the baby Luma has arrived. He just like bouncing around, spinning around and stuff. To my lost Luma, we worry about you, but we know you are safe with your new friend. I hope the attached item is helpful. May the stars shine down on you. If you couldn't already tell, like, anybody who hasn't played the first one, I guess they don't know who it is. But the may the stars shine down on you, and then the creepy... <laughs> the creepy emo sounding laugh, you know? That should tell you who it is. But it's not exactly like the plots are supposed to be mysterious in these. I mean, come on. Right, okay. So, zoom out. Let me get my hands on the sensor. Or the Wii remote on it, whatever you want to say. Alright. I want to have time to do a third recording tonight. I want to have time to start off the fourth world. Alright, Bowser Jr.'s Fiery Flotilla. Let's go to it, I am ready. Alright, Prankster Comet Detected. This is something really easy, I think. Oh yeah, it's a speed run. Not even a Daredevil run. There's a Daredevil run on something. But not this, this is just a speed run. And if I recall, especially if you do whatever I did that last time, or, oh, are we just starting out on here? Oh, then never mind, we don't even have to do the whole level. Oh, this is a speed run, though. I don't think it's really hard, but I guess it would be harder than a Daredevil run, because Daredevil run, like, this level's pretty easy, if you know what you're doing, I guess. If you don't know what you're doing, then, I mean, honestly, nobody ever really wins when they don't know what they're doing. And then you have to deal with this garbage. Alright, he's like halfway done already, right? This isn't even a Daredevil run. If they made it a Daredevil one, it's run at the same time, that'd actually be kind of challenging. Oh my gosh, Starbits. If only my sensor wasn't so blinky. Oh, what? Alright, you can uh, do this now. Are you gonna storm? I mean, train? Oh yeah, that last one always puts up a little bit of a challenge. Like, you can't really chain together, like, on average it's going to take you, like, three what's-its, three dives to do. Dude, this guy is raging. Dude, really? Alright, this guy does annoy me every now and then, oh, I'll give him credit. And then he does this, this is the main annoying thing, is how he just does that the whole time. Freak is wrong with you. This is life or death right here. Did it. Alright. Doggone. Ooh, that's a spectacular ending light show though. I'm gonna give him credit. Awesome. He's like, whirr in the face right there. It's amazing. Alright. Dang, we're going from one boss right to the next. And we're going to like what? Bash hammer, mega hammer. The really cool thing, although it's a Yoshi level, I don't know, I just don't like Yoshi. That's just me though. It's opinionated. Yoshi just does not fit in my heart at all. Ooh, we're about to do like a chain of these, aren't we? This this video might be pretty long. I was thinking it was going to be a little bit shorter because we were just doing two, well actually three miniature levels. But it looks like already we've already got three side levels and we still haven't even made it to the uh, actual third boss yet. In which case we'll be finishing off the video whenever we do that. Um, Alright, but there's only so many, uh, yeah this is like the only other possible one that we can do right now. Because like all the other ones we've already silvered all those other galaxies. Unless there's, I don't, I don't know, there might be one or two, but pretty sure this is the only one left that we have to do before we go to the boss. Masterpiece speedrun. Ooh, another speedrun, man. They are 
They really... Oh, dude, what? Oh, yeah, this level's a little bit different. Like, they made it... They put the bombs and stuff. This is literally, like, it's taking a lot after the one on Galaxy 1. It's taking a lot after Rolling Hills. Alright, let's go and... No, let's not get some coins. So the billboard isn't there to give us an annoying, lengthy tutorial. Which is accounted for since it's speedrun. Alright. I think some of the level... Yeah, parts of the level are changed, so it's not quite as easy. Oh yeah. All right. All right. The the thing's actually easier this time, I guess, if you're going straight. I'm just with this current setup, I can't do anything much regarding the sensor, and that's like half the game. So it's a little bit, little bit tricky for me. But whatever, we're doing it. All right. No need for checkpoints because it's a speed run. Speedrun does not need checkpoints, especially because that would be really weird. It wouldn't quite work out. So you can just lean forward and do all this weird stuff. Alright. So, I believe we're almost there. Do we still have to knock the guy off? I think we do. Dang, how good are we doing? Are we doing good or bad? I think this is actually going to be pretty difficult to do in time, my gosh. Okay, let's try not to die. Because I, uh, <laughs> you people know I can't edit the videos, so. Ooh, dude, 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 dude. This is coming down to the wire. Alright, this is not time for you to be stupid, okay? There you go. Alright, yeah, they give you enough time. I was going a little bit slow anyways, but that is one of the more difficult speedruns. There's not as much error for messing up. Mm. Alright. Nice. Did that. Alright. Um... much battery life do I have left? I don't know. 35 minutes? I don't even think I'm going to be able to do another video after this. Just because. I don't know. I might be able to. We'll see. Nah, probably not though. I don't know. I'll figure it out. If I do like a standard of, well if it's this game it's going to be two or three videos a night. Or this night it'll only be like two though, depending. Oh here, Bowser Jr. is Fear Simply, and then CTGP, I can easily do four cups a night. I could do like five or six if I really wanted to. Maybe, I don't know, it depends on how long the cup is, because some of those tracks are really long. But some of them, you can play the cups in a good like ten minutes. And then I, have an, I have almost two hours of recording time, each time. Which means that if I only have 35 minutes left, it's already been like about an hour recording, so... Split between these two videos, I guess the other one took like... A little bit over 30 minutes, probably. Alright, but I'm gonna... This one... I do kind of like the bosses here, but... It kind of makes the game look a little bit uglier, because I do... That's the main determining factor, I guess. Between Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2, like... Forget the Yoshi thing. I think the main reason why I like, uh... Galaxy 1 more is because it looks visually better to me. Like, this game... Like, for example, right here, like, the colors... I mean, they work well together to a certain degree. But I, th I just think it looks really ugly, in my opinion. Like, in that background, like, it's Earth, sure. I guess it's Earth. But it's like, I don't know. Blue and yellow, like, blue, yellow, and purple, they never really went together in my mind. Especially not blue and yellow. Like, blue and purple definitely go together well. But it's mainly blue and yellow here, and it's kind of ugly. It reminds me of, like, YMCA or something. Like, swimming pool. Or something I don't know this this game like some parts of it are still really good looking like there's some really beautiful galaxies in this game still but there's just some of them that are just too ugly for me to handle they're not really ugly but they're just not very good looking and the game does feel a little bit like a 2d game every now and then like it feels it feels a bit too linear that's just my opinion I mean they were they weren't shooting it they weren't shooting for a non-linear game, I guess, but still, I just don't really like linear stuff as much. Oh, 
This is starting to tick me off. Oh my gosh. This is an annoyance of a level. Oh my gosh. Um, where's my pointer? Okay, I, that took a while for the pointer to get registered. I was trying for a good five seconds there. I don't know. I'm not going to diss the boss though, because we're ending off the video with this. So, gotta remain positive. I do like the boss. Nice shot. You actually can just lick this and then, oh yeah, he actually gags on it. Not that I ever notice when he gags. I do kind of like the tongue thing, but the thing about his tongue though, it's just so hard to do. Like, it's not very reliable in these games. I find that Yoshi as a character is just not reliable in this game. I cannot rely on Yoshi. I kind of, sometimes I'll groan whenever I see Yoshi because I'm like, uh, gotta use Yoshi. I don't even know when the checkpoint is. I think if we die, we're going to have to restart the whole thing. So that's not very good. Oh yeah, and you got to do this or else you're just going to get run up against this. This whole level, it... I mean, it works, but... I mean, let's face it here. This could easily be a 2D level. Don't go that way because it's a black hole. Like, this level feels like a 2D level. It really, really feels like a 2D level. Eh... Uh, so pardon me for not liking 2D, but, or anything resembling it. Oh man, that guy just, I was trying out that Starbit thing that everybody was all hyped about. When the game first out, came out, they were like, so revolutionary, you can stun enemies with Starbits, and I'm like, I because then you have to give up your star bits too, and I'm, I'm not one to easily give up star bits. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Alright, good job. Yeah, this, this whole level is, I don't know. I don't like this level. <laughs> I just don't like this level. Alright. I do like hanging out on here, though. Hanging out and, like, foolishly suiciding. I think there was a green star here, though. I love the green star, so I... I that's the one thing that I wish was in Galaxy 1, like, Galaxy 1 would undoubtedly top this game if green stars weren't in it as well, you know, like the 120 green stars, because, like, they actually, like, take thought in all the little places that I explore, like, a lot of those places were actually green star locations, so it actually pays to be exploring in those situations. So green star levels are fun for exploring on, and that's, that's cool, I really love the green stars. Alright, let's go. Alright, alright, I'm gonna take him. Let's take this just in case it like does something weird. Shoot the luma. Oh man, oh man. I do not trust this level. We already have six, so... When you have already maxed out at six, both of those shrooms will mean the same thing. A one-up. Alright, here's Bowser Jr. in his fancy cockpit. Oh, I love this boss though. This boss is awesome. Don't you know when to quit? I'm going to enjoy taking you out from the cozy confines of my robot cockpit. So you want a grand star, do you? Well, come on, tough guy. Let's see if you're any match for Mega Hammer. Yeah, it's Mega Hammer. I do love it whenever they put, like, boss commentary, especially when the bosses are like, man, you made it this far. It's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Mario, he's just bouncing around on Yoshi, man. It's like, boing, boing, boing. My gosh. Sit still on Yoshi. Yoshi, what are you doing? Well, now he sits still. And the music's pretty cool, too, I believe. Not that you can hear it too much. Because I kind of... I figure since I'm doing commentary on here, it wouldn't blend well if the music and my voice was loud and hearing. Like, I don't really have a mic or anything, so I just the levels myself manually. I mean, you still do that if you have a mic, of course, but... Like, I really adjust it manually. Oh, shoot. He always does that at block. It's... It's kind of like a small noticeable feature, but it still exists. He like blocks with his arms. Woo! All right. He does this awesome like I don't know fat sumo thing. Oh freak! 
See that face? It is a face of no mercy. Alright. He starts doing the pound stuff. I think this is all we have to do, unless he, like, uh... If it is, then that's kind of an understandable length. Alright, my pointer is not showing up. Hello? Alright. I don't think it would have mattered anyways. You can't really get him two times in a row on the back. So you always turn it around, like, right before the bullet hits. Is he done already? Oh yeah, then there's this part. This part's cool. Alright, I'm ready. Alright, that was that went terribly wrong. Alright, right, okay. Yeah, I did that part pretty badly. Cause I like messed up, I was trying to spit out the bullet bill so I could capture this other one. Alright, so we only have to do like one more time. I think he's actually knocking these down or something. Just discard the first one. Or hold on to the first one and dodge the second one if you can. Alright, throw. There we go. He's done now. Oh yeah, this this ending is epic. Bam! He's like... Whoosh. Oh my gosh. It would be cool if his ship exploded with him, but then you'd be dead, so... Oh, that doesn't really matter in these games, does it? I remember I had like health class one year, and like they were like talking about how violent everything is, and they're like, even Mario is violent. In the first game, you kill a dragon. I was like, well, yeah, he keeps coming back every game, though. <laughs> he never dies. Uh, but oh my gosh, that was a bad year, wasn't it? I was mischievous as heck. I got that person in the head with a baseball bat at the end of the year, though. Pretty sweet. All right. There we go. Oh my gosh, I love the third world. The third world is probably the best looking actual world map for me. Cause I mean, look at that. I love that cosmic bluish tint. Like cosmic blue and cosmic purple. Those two colors are like the best things ever. I, I will never grow tired of staring at them. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> This isn't even HD, like imagine this in HD, although it's on the Wii U, so I'm not sure. No, it's, it's still not really in HD. Great work, pal. That's your third grand star. Alright, we're ready to fly through time and space. That monster is still out there somewhere. Let's So let's ship out to the next world captain. I believe, yeah, there's only six grand stars in this game, so we have half of them now. We're halfway through the main worlds, and then they have that S world. Yeah. Halfway through the main worlds. Next time we'll be moving on to world four. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not sure about you people, but anybody's been watching this playthrough, make sure to keep watching it. Oh my gosh, I love this world. This this might actually be my favorite world. Like, yeah, this 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 might just be because I love all the galaxies on here. We're sure to uh, come. Ah, I butchered that. We've sure come a long way thanks to your efforts. Let's keep this going. I need to lean forward. I can't talk as much when I'm in the back. Or leaning back. Okay, enough stuttering. We sure come a long way thanks to your efforts. Let's keep this thing going, am I right? Good thing going. See that word, good. It always messes me up. The helm is yours, Captain. Alright. Darn, he messed me up with the speech. The game has been saved. So next time we'll be moving on, and oh my gosh, it's gonna be epic. <laughs> Alright, so let's go and end off the video at Starship Mario. No, you know what? Let's end it off here. Alright. So yeah, 50 stars, uh, this is a momentous occasion. I do like the background for this place a lot too, oh my gosh, I haven't played this game in a while, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be liking it a lot as you go through these videos as we go through them. Alright, because if you're watching, then technically it is we, so ha. Huh. Alright, so yeah, if you liked the video, then like it virtually as well, um, I suppose, um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Stay fancy.